Hey, what's going on guys? It's Lucy Goosey or Kyle and welcome back to episode 2 of our Halloween survival, our nether survival. And uh, if you look around here, we are not in the nether right now. We're going to be changing that in this episode. So if you guys missed last episode, make sure you go check it out. You need to watch it before you watch this one so you can understand what this whole series is about. But anyways, today is the day we go into the nether and we start this nether survival for real. So, uh, yeah, we're gonna head on in through this nether portal right here. It's kind of scary, and I really don't want to die. But, uh, here we go. We're heading in. And, uh, yeah, we'll see what our spawn is. Hopefully we're not in the middle of a lava lake, because that would be kind of scary. Come on. Oh, oh, oh! We got really lucky. Look at this. Uh, there's a ton of stuff that went through the portal. But, um, look. Oh, no! Okay, we're not really lucky. We're not lucky. Go, 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 go. Oh, my goodness. There's a blaze spawner right there. That was kind of scary. But, uh, we are in the nether, and we're in a fortress, so that's actually really awesome. Now, what do we need to do here? I guess the first thing we really need to do is we have to get rid of our nether portal, but we really can't do that with all those blaze up there. I think I'm just going to set up shop in this little area right here, though. Alright, so I'm putting all of my stuff in this chest right here, just so, in case I die, I do not have it on me, because we're going to probably die in this series, and we do not want to have all of our stuff on us. So, I just want to make sure, oh, okay, blazes are coming down quickly, and it's scary. So what we're going to do, we're just going to shut this away for now, just make sure no blazes can get here. I think that blaze just left us, so that's cool, he can leave us, but uh, yeah, let's see, let's get all this stuff put away and then get the stuff we do need, so I think we'll just keep the bread on us for now and anything else, I don't really think I really need right now, I do want to build a bit better of a shelter, obviously than what we have right now, so we will be finding an area to build our home in this episode, but uh, yeah I don't really know what I want to do right now I think I just want to find a good area to set up, it's just there's so many mobs all over the place, it's going to be kind of dangerous so I do think I want to live in the nether fortress, but the only issue with that is mobs. So maybe we'll live like right outside the nether fortress. There's a lot of blaze spawners around here, which is kind of scary because blaze are not very fun to deal with. Oh, wither skeleton right here. We're going to have to get some wither skulls in this series because our main goal is to fight the wither at the end of it. So hopefully we can get some wither skulls and uh, get some good luck with that. But I don't know. Maybe we could build our area in the nether brick and just or not the nether brick, the nether rack. Ooh, this could be a good entrance to our house. Yeah, I think I want to do this right here. So this will be the entrance into our house, and I think it's pretty good. It's like right outside of Blaze Spawner too, so if we ever need to kill Blaze, we can do that, and it should be pretty awesome. So I'm going to move our stuff over here. Oh, that's a problem. Hmm. All right, we'll have to solve that problem in just a little bit. But uh, yeah, I mean, maybe we can just go out to this little bit right here and make our first little room and then and not die from lava please Whew. okay this is very dangerous I hate the nether and yeah I'm just gonna continue to break some blocks right here and hopefully we don't die alrighty guys so I have our little area right here it's super ugly and it's probably super dark for you guys so I'm gonna get some torches in here I'm gonna get all of our stuff moved on over here and then we will continue to build out our shelter just a little bit more Alrighty guys, so I got all of our stuff moved on over here and tried to organize the chest a little bit because, you know, if you don't have organization then everything's going to get messy real quick. But uh, I need a door for this place and I think I'm going to do, hmm, let's just go with the spruce door. I think it will be fine and uh, yeah, I don't really know. All the other doors kind of wouldn't fit, like the birch door wouldn't look really good and I don't think the oak door would either. So we'll go with the spruce door right there, looks pretty cool and there's our door. Alright, so my main goal in this episode is actually to create a tree farm, and I hope that we can do this. Now, we don't have too much space to build in from what I've seen, so it might not be very good, and also we have to watch out for lava, so I'm actually going to take off my armor right now in case we do die, because if we die, then that's going to really stink, and we just want to limit our deaths as much as possible, so... I'm just going to throw like all of my stuff away except for a little bit of my food and I'm going to make a couple of pickaxes and I'm going to try to make an area for our tree farm. Alrighty guys, so I wanted to show you guys a little bit of the progress I've been making on our tree farm right here. Now I'm not even sure if trees can grow in the nether themselves. Also we found a bit of soul sand right here, so that was pretty cool. But I'm not even sure if they can naturally grow. I know you can grow them with uh, bone meal, at least you can in creative because I've seen it done before. But I don't know if you can do it in survival, so we'll have to see 
Um, but uh, yeah, here we go. We had a ton of netherrack just from clearing out that little area. We're going to test this right now, so I'm not actually going to waste bone meal because I don't want to waste it if I don't have to. And uh, yeah, we're going to see if they can grow in this little area, uh, especially the 5x5. Five five. I'm not even sure if they can grow in, uh, at least oak trees can grow in this small little area right here. We're going to have to see, but uh, I will not bone meal it. We're just going to see if it happens. And uh, yeah, it should be pretty cool. So I'm going to continue to clear out a little bit more space and hopefully this grows while we're doing this. All right, everybody. So I have cleared out a 13 by 13 space for this tree farm right here. I'm going to light it up a little bit so you guys can see because maybe trees need a bit of light to grow. I'm not too sure. So maybe we'll just put like a torch right here maybe to, to light up this area. Maybe uh, on the corners like this. But uh, yeah, this tree does not seem to be growing right now, so I'll give it a little bit more time. But in the meantime, I do want to do something else in this episode before we end it off, and that is explore our little area we've got going here. So we are going to need armor for this, and I think we're going to use our first iron. Um, we're going to have to smelt up a little bit right here, and I guess eventually we're going to have to smelt this all up. So let's just smelt eight right now so we're not... Uh, you know wasting any coal I really won't care about coal and uh, if we can get you know unlimited wood but we have to know that we can you know farm trees before I waste all my coal right now so that I mean obviously if I get unlimited wood I can make charcoal that's what I was trying to go by there but anyways yeah we're gonna smelt up some iron so that we can make ourselves an iron sword and then we're gonna have to go loot some chests in this nether fortress and then I think we'll end off this episode so yep I'm gonna wait for this iron to smelt and then I will make a sword by the way, if you guys did not notice in the last episode, we did find a pumpkin. So I am going to just put that in our house right here to add to the Halloween thing. And maybe we'll make it a jack-o'-lantern in just a little bit. But it is now time. Oh, hi. How are you doing today, sir? Um, this is the one benefit of having a too high door. Oh, we can get coal. That's actually, that's true. Yeah, we can get coal from uh, all this cool stuff around the area from the wither skeletons. So that's actually awesome. And we just killed that guy and now we're getting attacked by a wither skeleton. And this is scary. This is why I don't like the nether. I don't like it. Ah, more wither skeletons. Ah, scary nether. Oh, I just had a lag spike right there and we're at very low health and we're dying from wither and we're not at full food. So we're losing hunger very quickly or health very quickly, I guess. But um, yeah, I do want to find some chests around here. So we're gonna, it's gonna be very dark. It's probably dark on your screen right now. So I'll just skip ahead to when I find something. Alrighty guys, so I actually turned up the brightness of our game right here. So hopefully it doesn't look too bad, but we found two chests right here. And I think I'm gonna open up one for this episode and the other one at the beginning of next episode. So make sure you guys come back tomorrow to see what is in this chest right here. But we're gonna open up this chest right here for this episode see what we get hopefully it's something good and okay not bad i mean the diamond horse armor is rare but we don't need it but the diamond is really good and iron is always good as well by the way i also got a blaze rod and a little bit more soul sand off camera while i was looking for the chest and i bet you there is more to come but i'm actually gonna go back to the base or maybe i should stay here because i probably will end up just recording episode three right after this I don't really know, but that's going to do it for episode two. So hopefully you guys did all enjoy this episode. I had a lot of fun recording it. And uh, yeah, I can't wait to do episode three. So hopefully you guys did all enjoy. I'm out for now. Peace.